Tina Hyde was knocked out in the first round? Zero wins, three losses in a row? That's gotta hurt. <laughs> I failed everyone. Snap out of it, Tenma. You've still got the individual tournament and you can compete next year too. What about you guys though? This was your last chance. <laughs> Not one of you is pathetic. Not my team, the school, or my brother. All three of those give me pride. I wanted to show the world that, and I failed. <laughs> <laughs> don't hold back, Tenma. Why don't you tell us how you really feel? Look, everyone, including you, did the best they could. <sighs> In the end, it wasn't enough. And that's a hard pill to swallow. People will tell us we'll look back on this day and smile, but they weren't here. They didn't fight. We did. A sweeping loss can be difficult to take, but your pain reveals how sincere the effort was. Victory is always preferable, but there's value in accepting defeat. Use this moment and grow as warriors. Match over. Odachi on the east side wins 3-0. You can't help but admit, they make an impressive team. They're uneven, but they've got momentum. Don't underestimate them. I won't deny they're special, but how many have we seen just like them? This happens every year. The team gathers a little steam, wins a few matches, then acts like they've got what it takes to go all the way. Some wrestlers, well, they even become national treasures. We're used to devouring their kind and nothing's changing that. Right? Damn straight. Team tournament round three. <laughs> On the east side, Kabutoyama High School. On the west side, Odachi High School. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> three for three in the third round! With yesterday's momentum and Hinomaru back, they're unstoppable! That left arm doesn't seem to be bothering him either. Odachi could be the champs this year. Fourth bout on the east side, Hold on. Yamada. Didn't on we the just west win side, three in a row? Kurisaki. Why are there more matches? Starting today, we have to fight all five bouts in each round. He got behind him! That's four! All right, this is it. Your national debut. Fifth bout. On the east side, Sato. On the west side, Mitsuhashi. Where's the rest of him? I saw this guy at the prelims. He makes a charge, then does a surprise leap. The shrimp's devious, be careful! <sighs> Spirit! No tricks this time. Did you think we wouldn't catch on? Big surprise. But he never gives up. Good effort. I'll be fine. It's a matter of time. I'll win with a change-up. Hmm. Why are you yawning? You better have slept. I may have stayed up late watching some footage from the Nagoya tournament. Daikesho was so close to winning it. <sighs> Keep dreaming. Japanese fighters are weak. They don't stand a chance against Mongolian or Geno wrestlers. We get it, you made your point. But that's why we're here, right? To get stronger. Hmm. It's Kusanagi. Well, well, Dojikiri. I prefer Tenoji. I've never been fond of my national treasure moniker. Yours, on the other hand, Kusanagi, that's a way cooler sounding name. I guess being the son of a Yokozuna, people expect more out of you than the rest of us mere mortals. But hey, when you step in the ring, your father and moniker can't follow. Once inside, you're there all alone. Tanoji, you're wrong. As a Yokozuna's son, I always carry that weight, wherever I go. <laughs> One thing's certain, this year's Inter High has no shortage of thrills. On the east side, Totori Hakuru High School. It was a matter of time. Here come the showstoppers. First bout on the east side, Enoki. Spirit! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
What the heck kind of move was that? It's a skill used in Aikido. Sumo's all about knocking your opponent off balance. Hakuro's wrestler isn't that tall and doesn't have a large frame, so he targets an opponent's center of gravity to compensate. There's a reason their team's the best. It's because they employ a wide range of techniques. I chose this school because of its colorful characters. Hakuro's team is my kind of people. What are you saying? Some specialize in the technical, like Inoki. Second bout! On the east side! Shudo! <sighs> While others are all about brute strength. Each one's different, but they're all experts. Every year, we have several interesting sumo wrestlers who decide to enroll at our school. Even international students from Mongolia. It lends the team some variety. We motivate each other to win. From the bottom of my heart, I'm glad to be part of Hakuro. They opened up the practice area. We should check it out. It's not going anywhere. Let's find Grub first. Sounds like you're in good spirits. Not even Hakuro scares you, huh? Mm -hmm. Sada, if you're headed to practice, you don't mind if we join, right? <laughs> Come on, don't look so suspicious. After the prelims, we actually took a trip. Just a stop in Totori, nothing big. Wait, Totori? Then you mean... But if you guys would rather eat, then how about for dessert? Let me tell you what it was like taking on the great Hakuro High. Hmm. The 32 qualifying competitors will begin the final rounds of the individual tournament. Okay, let's get this thing started. I formally declare this the Ishi slash Dachi High sparring session to take down Hakuro. We're actually working with them? This is like full on treason, man! Why should we do them any favors? Hmm. hmm. He's right, we are a rival team after all. Why would you want to help us? Because when all's said and done, Ishihai is going to benefit huge. Yeah? How? No, Captain Mamiya. Please explain it to them in excruciating detail. Sure, leave all the exposition to me. I don't mind one bit. While it's true, this could strengthen Dachi High and bite us in the ass. If you keep pushing them, Hakuro will have no choice but to dig deeper and reveal their range, which will prepare us for when we eventually face off. You think it'll actually work? You benefited from testing Kunasaki's limits, isn't that right, Sada? Yeah, I can't deny it. I stole as much as I could from him. He's not the only one with an appetite for moves. <laughs> Don't expect us to thank you or anything. <gasps> Since we both get something out of it, I say we accept. Still, I hate the idea of giving Dachi High more opportunities to celebrate! Isn't that the truth? No offense, but it wasn't that long ago your team was pathetic. Ozuki was the only member and always lost the first round. <laughs> and now you're standing in the national spotlight. There's a word for that. Incredible. Huh? Any animosity we feel for you as rivals is only matched by our respect. We aren't doing this solely for our own benefit. We want you to go far. Sound good? <laughs> I'm the stand-in for Tanoji? That's flattering. It's just so Ushio can visualize him. And out of everyone, your physique's the closest. I get you. If you don't hmm. want to do this, you don't have to, Araki. Yeah, don't feel pressured if you're not down. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Leaving me out! <laughs> <laughs> Having a double for Tenoji will go a long way for Ushio. I'm sure their session will help him grow. And yet... We can't start thinking Hakuro is the only thing standing between us and the crown. There's another. From Ega University High. Sosuke Kuze. The son of a Yokozuna. And right at the age when you naturally want to defy your parents. If you want my opinion, he's got the same bearing you did at your peak. But maybe I'm just imagining it. From what I hear, he plans to join the Pro League after he becomes the high school Yokozuna. The fact it doesn't come across as a joke is scary. I'm the biggest supporter of my son. For the longest time, the thought of anyone his own age posing a challenge was unthinkable. That is, until now. The individual tournament semi-final. On the east side, Tenoji. On the west side, Kuze. But whatever the outcome is today... The future of Pro Sumo is brilliant. 
Hey, how come everybody's using their minds? Because it's like watching two Yokozuna fight. The son of Yamato Kuni. Undefeated in official bouts and on the path to being a champion. Facing off against the battle-hardened conqueror. This will decide who's best. Truth be told, I'd rather these two didn't fight each other. They're already fearsome, but together, in a bout, no telling what it'll unleash. Your mind's wandering. Which one will be triumphant? It doesn't matter because they've left you in their wake. Not to mention when the dust clears, this fight might put you even further behind. So. How do you plan on winning tomorrow if you already gave it your all and it still wasn't enough? Exactly how you taught me. I've been thinking. Back to the moment I lost. Even going all out against him, I never saw the limit of Tenochi's power. But thanks to everybody in this room, I've had this revelation. There's something hidden inside me. A source of strength I haven't managed to tap into, yet. Sada, we need to have a bout. No holding back. <laughs> In order to get closer to them, what I need to do is take another step forward. Very well then, let's see what you've got. Out of everyone, you're best suited for discovering your own style of fighting. Now, show me. The new and improved Hinomaru Sumo. That's a leg technique! Based on what I've seen, I thought Tenochi would be more composed. But it's like he's a different person! Tenochi has two faces. When we sparred in Totori, I got the chance to see both. The first, he uses to avoid losing. He watches his opponent, then carefully selects a strategy that'll give him an advantage. The guy researches endlessly and builds an approach that plays the percentage game. That's how he stayed undefeated throughout high school. But something happened two years ago. He had to fight upperclassmen who were stronger than he was. His second face is all about winning. I prefer using a more defensive style. Counterattacking moves my opponents make. I'm good. But when I forced Tenoji to go on the offensive, the barrage of attacks he rained down on me was non-stop, completely without mercy. Thinking about it now sends chills down my spine. So this is Dojikiri, the champion. In his bout with Onimaru. No, he didn't waver in any match, even that one. I'm worried about Sosuke. He may lose. To the best of my knowledge, Shido Tenoji is the strongest sumo wrestler currently competing at the high school level. However, no one in that arena, even including me, knows the true limits of Sosuke Kuze's strength. <sighs> Yamato Kuni? What's going on? My blood should be boiling. And yet, nothing. I'm completely calm. He's always compared to his father, but it's finally starting to come true. He's not like Hinamaru or Tenoji. The most terrifying thing about him is his stillness and eyes that reveal an unwavering strength. He's completely serene. Whenever you attack, it creates openings. My brother calls that a weakness, but when he used to throw defense out the window and fought only on instinct, he was much scarier. Like a demon! It doesn't matter who wins. My path's already been laid out. Hinomaru Ushio. Don't ever stop surprising me. Let's go! Sada! Thank you! They move back. This could be it. Here's the charge. This might be the one to end it! That's Kusanagi's! They were evenly matched on the first charge. 
Tenoji's strength must have awakened the beast in Sosuke. It's on now! <coughs> he dodged it? If you think you have the upper hand, you're wrong. <coughs> the beast inside of me has risen! There it is. The super low attack my brother perfected when he was Ushio's height. Only he can pull it off because he used to be short. Its intensity <coughs> is boundless. <coughs> Not good. He's taking too many hits. Every one of them from a champion. It's breaking him piece by piece. All those years of being small made me the wrestler I am today. This moment will have the same effect, making me the strongest. I'm battling a copy of Yamato Kuni, the greatest Yokozuna of the Heisei era. This is a trial. Another task the sumo gods have arranged for me to become the best in the world! He locked his arm! It's Tenoji's game! You're just an obstacle to overcome! Soon, I'll wear the rope that tells everyone I defeated the legendary Yamato Kuni! <clears throat> what a fearsome competitor! Even in the face of incredible pressure, he's still thinking. Calculating how he can win against his opponent using his style of sumo. It's... My right hand's on his belt. This is the strongest form I inherited from my father. For me, the sumo gods are part of Yamato Kuni's fighting style! That was expected. I've given up on defense after all. It was necessary if I was going to reach the top! An arm lock throw! And an overarm throw! At the same time! Six point torso slide! Great serpent cleaver! I wondered if the sumo gods turned their gaze away from him. He wasn't blessed with height. Yet his spirit, body, and technique all have room to grow. Then I saw it. It surrounded him. A light. So that's why the sumo gods looked away. They'd been blinded! Incredible. It could be the edge he needed. Just might. Looks like it paid off. Is the match over? Who won, coach? Tenoji or Kuze? Come take a look. A Yokozuna. The only person permitted to wear a sacred rope on their body. They are divine objects. It's evident Shido Tenoji was loved by the gods. Sosuke Kuze, Kusanagi, was not. He is a god, an embodiment of the divine, and will reign over the sumo ring. He won. Still, it's not like we're just gonna wimp out because that happened. We plan to beat Tenoji, Kuze, and all the rest anyway. And that hasn't changed. Hmm. Uh, I lost again? Rematch, one more game. <laughs> Don't ever go gambling. Come on, Yuma. Cut the cards better. You aren't doing anything shady, are you? No, you just suck. <laughs> This game won't be over until Ushio wins at least hey, once. Hey, I think you're supposed to keep your <laughs> eyes on your own cards? Listen up, amigo. Seeing how relaxed they are, you'd have no idea the finals were happening tomorrow. Hmm? Shouldn't they be, like, sweating bullets? Just the opposite. If the guys were nervous, none of them would last through the night. This is a good sign. There's no need to worry about their mental state anymore. I remember the old days. You got so worked up, saying you wouldn't lose, and never fold. But now, I'm glad you chose Dachi High, Hinamaro. All right, it's getting pretty late. We have a big day tomorrow, guys. Got it. We better get some sleep, too. Kill the lights while you're up. Sure thing. I want to thank you all. Huh? <laughs> you gonna tell us what for? Nope. Seriously. Let's go out there tomorrow and win. Yeah! yeah.